Hey guys, today we get to talk about an interesting dynamic. This is the most epic Magic the Gathering stealing team ever. Now, I would have never imagined these two individuals could work together to steal over $2,000 in Magic cards. They were only caught when they were trying to sell the cards. So had they just held on to them or even enjoyed the game a little bit, I don't feel like they would have been caught. These two, we have a elder. He's, I believe, 64 years old. 64 years old and he's still stealing magic cards. The one on the right kind of looks like he would steal magic cards, but the one on the left, I don't you know. I don't see it. I really don't see it. But they are an epic team and they were arrested recent, recently in Albany, New York. So this happened in Albany. Where it's very cold. I think at this time it's 34 degrees up there. It's just fascinating the dynamics of it. They did know what they were stealing. They went to a local game store, went straight to the magic cards, knew the value of the magic cards, and then attempted to sell them for close to value. You don't steal magic cards unless you know what they are. Because I would figure the ordinary person who doesn't know what Magic the Gathering is is going to break in a store and probably steal candy like the other video I just showed recently where a couple breaks in the store and they literally do not steal any magic singles. They steal a Calidesk gift box, which is like the largest, most obtuse object they could pick with the least value. And they left these singles alone. This particular team understood that these singles were where the money war was at and they stole the singles. Say what you will, they are Magic the Gathering fans, or at least they know a lot about the game to pick out the singles. So a pair of Troy men were charged with trying to steal about $2,000 worth of limited edition Magic the Gathering cards. I wonder what limited edition means. Probably Eternal Masters. So somebody should tell the police Eternal Masters already got reprinted. I'm not going to pronounce those two names, but one of them is 27, one of them is 68 years old, and he's stealing magic cards. On top of it, you know, they were stealing magic, they were arrested Friday at Flipside Gaming on Columbia Turnpike as they attempted to sell a stolen collection of approximately 450 cards reported stolen from another game room business. What is a game room business? Is that just someone's like home? Uh, both Van Voss and Douglas were charged with, with felony criminal possession of stolen property and misdemeanor conspiracy. I wonder if they stole conspiracy. Maybe take the crown. Douglas also was charged with multiple controlled substance offenses after police said they found him with packets of heroin, crack cocaine. It only gets better. This is the gift that keeps out on giving. Not only were they, was the guy... 68 years old. He was a 68-year-old drug addict who was also addicted to magic cards. So he had heroin, crack cocaine, and we all know what the most addicting thing would be, magic cards. He was addicted to magic cards and he just couldn't help himself. Van Vars had also had hypodermic needles and the drug suboxone. Police said he was charged with possession of a controlled substance the men were arranged before Sadoc Town Justice Albert Peter and sent to the Ren. So, oh, this is just a butchering of these names. County Jail to await court action. So, very interesting story. You have a 68 year old partnering with a 27 year old stealing magic cards while probably on drugs, while having lots of drugs on them. We all know. That magic is the number one drug. It's stronger than heroin, stronger than crack cocaine. It's pretty bad. Anyway, this is kind of a, a side note. Leave me a comment below if you guys do feel like they are the most epic magic gathering stealing team. I feel like they are. They, it has to be one and two for the best criminal magic gathering team ever. I mean, a 68 year old who was a heroin addict of a 27 year old who was probably also a drug addict. This is kind of, Morgan Freeman should be like in a movie. I feel like this would be a really good movie for Magic the Gathering with Morgan Freeman, 
and the guy who plays uh, in Breaking Bad, the guy who plays Jesse, that would be a pretty cool movie, and they could kind of explain why they stole the magic cards. Anyways, <laughs> bye guys.